In today's video, we're going to start to create an amazing skyline in Riverton. We're also going to add trams to our pedestrian area. Let's get building. All right, so my initial thought process is I would like to turn this, the self-sufficient buildings, into the Heart of Korea style. We will go into this, take out the specialization, and then we're going to go into the district and choose Heart of Korea. All right, houses are despawning. Uh, it's going to respawn as the heart of korea buildings which i think is going to be really really cool so we're going to let that sort out and uh, we're going to be back and check out how the area looks afterwards and then i'm thinking i do want to add some of the new skyscrapers which are really cool from the skyscrapers content creator pack i thought we could do this area over here i'm not going to place down too many of these skyscrapers because they are unique buildings they will attract a large number of people from out of town uh we have an arterial road here which is pretty good we might have to implement a one way going in one way going out kind of deal we'll see i'll do a road layout which should be good for some of the skyscrapers so let's go all right so this very basic road layout that i came up with let's place some of the new skyscrapers let's go so we're going to go into the unique buildings content creator packs and scroll we got to scroll 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 there's a lot of buildings in here and here we go okay so let's see what would okay like this is way too big let's see if we can that is okay that looks it's a bit it's it's too like the, oh my god okay so this would work technically I love that the monorail is going through here as well, so that's going to be really cool. Okay, I also have to be aware of the budget. These are expensive. These are expensive. Okay, so that's four of those. I love the chirp net. Really, really cool. All right. Let's also not forget to add some, some shops in between. Uh, as we did, as we do have in here, and maybe some offices too, just because we have the demand for office and commercial. There we go. Let that fill in, and we should be good. All right, he's complaining about power, but that's fine. It's going to spread the power eventually. Uh, that's really, really cool. Those are amazing, amazing buildings, but they are very costly as well. 150,000 just for that building, 50,000 for this one. This one is pretty cool, though. I really like it. Okay, maybe one more. Maybe we can get one more in here. This, oh my god, yo, really, really nice. Really nice, super cool. Okay, so the plan would be then to, of course, continue the kind of high-rise culture that we have in here. Maybe we'll go in with a district and do, the, yes, we'll do that, actually, the um, IT cluster for the offices, right? So I'm not really sure where we have office buildings, so we'll just do this entire area right here. Create a district, then go to the office tab, specialization, and IT cluster. So... Uh, big buildings should spawn in here very soon. So we'll have big uh, office buildings in here as well. That's going to help with the skyline, which I think is going to be pretty cool, especially overlooking the ocean right here. Amazing. All right, so the heart of Korea is starting to fill out. The problem is we don't have really have any demand <laughs> or a lot of demand. So that's going to be a thing that's going to take some time. But I do love these like living complexes right here. Super, super cool buildings very very nice i think this is going to be a great addition to riverton with oh look at the oh my god just looking at the skyline in the background is so amazing and there we go we're already getting some it cluster buildings some bigger buildings as well in the mix all right, let's go. This is really cool. All right, one other thing that was heavily focused on in the new content for the game was the trams as well in the new content. I think there's like 12 new tram models and obviously there's new tram roads. We have pedestrian tram roads, which I think is really cool. Let's implement them now, right? So we do have a tram network here. So you can see the purple area, the purple roads here is our tram roads. So we could definitely split off somewhere here, go through the pedestrian area with some pedestrian tram roads, which I think is super amazing. There's the sandstone. We're going to use the sandstone and we're going to just loop around. So we'll have a stop in the pedestrian area, which I think is going to be really, really cool. I have an idea. I have a basic idea. So we are going to connect 
just like so. And now we need to upgrade. So the tram actually has a way to get there. There we go. All right, now use the sandstone pedestrian tram road. Oh, this is going to be pretty sweet. And then I think I'm going to use tram road only, just like tram tracks, right? So the thing is, we cannot buy this tile yet. We still need 4,000, roughly 5,000 people, 4,700. But um, for now, let's just come in here, do a regular tram road. So we'll just connect like this. There we go. Need to make this a bit smoother. Okay, there we go. That seems seems okay. Seems okay. Let's connect some more tracks and see how it looks. Uh, this is obviously a normal road. So I mean, there's so many new roads. Like we got four lane road with tram tracks. We have uh, two lane with tram tracks, which. Like, they're so cool from the new update. And these are mainly free if you have certain DLCs. Like, if you have Snowfall and After Dark DLC, these roads are free with a free update. So that is really amazing. Oh, my God. I can't wait for the trams to drive through here. Let's quickly add a tram line. Okay, we'll just do a, uh, a loop around. Maybe we could... Oh, there's a bus going through here, but I think that's okay. There's also... There's a tram going through here. Let's maybe... Okay change plans maybe we will add the tram line just through here i think yeah that might be better all right so for instance we'll stop here obviously we'll stop in the pedestrian area we could i didn't connect the oh my god and now we could have a stop here but it's at this point not necessary so let's just do this maybe it's going to be a short line obviously one that then fall goes the other way as well so we have three stops it's not really a lot but um yes yeah. so let's go into the tram okay that's the tram line two and three so let's get a new tram of course we'll get one with a higher capacity 140 i think yeah this one is good and let's for this one let's go with the 130 capacity and uh we got one vehicle we should only be getting one vehicle four no we don't want four but two we'll get two vehicles not four no 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 just two two vehicles is plenty two vehicles is plenty all right this is going to be pretty epic actually this is going to be really dope okay so the bollards are gone here for the tram tracks which i think is really cool so a tram should be arriving very very soon here and of course once we unlock this tile or maybe once i plan out this area more we could also tie this in with a resident with a pedestrian area we will just make this area a bit bigger rivers and relaxation i still didn't get any suggestions from you so feel free to drop a comment uh with a new name for the pedestrian area and we'll just expand this to here maybe sort of close to the uh, trumpet interchange here and just make this look a bit better all right the heart of korea there we go look at those buildings uh spawning in very nice very nice look at this small house here very very it's like laundry hanging here that's kind of cool detail very nice very nice buildings indeed all right how is the traffic situation in the oh and the buildings oh wow and of course an influx in traffic because those are all unique buildings i think we got an influx at least it doesn't look too bad in here and wow, look at these people. I think those are all just for the tram stop. Oh, here they come. Look at those trams. Those look amazing. Wow. All right, cars are just driving through. Bicycles are just driving through. But, oh, this side. Oh, my God. All right, how many? Oh, okay. The tram was indeed necessary. All right, here we go. Here we go. Very nice. And is it full now? It's full. All right. Okay. They have to wait for the next tram even. All right. We got two vehicles. It's fine. How are the other stops looking actually? Uh, didn't we have one in here? There's one. There's the sign right here. It's on that side. So no, actually most people are Oh, in here. Okay. Okay. Here comes the next one. Now pick them all up. 
Yo, perfect. Very nice. Okay, that's pretty cool. That is really, really cool. All right, and there we go. This should be a, a bit of a shorter episode. We're going to go back to Riverton, of course, next week. This is amazing. The new content is really, really great. I really, really like it. It's glad. It, it's really cool adding trams to the pedestrian areas and the new models in general. The Heart of Korea content creator pack, the Skyscrapers pack. Super, super amazing. And now if you want to know how to deal with traffic in this game, then I highly recommend you check out this video right over here next. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day and stay safe out there. Bye-bye.